Hi there, I'm Simon, and I'm here to teach you totally native and useful phrases in English so you can face everyday situations with full confidence in your English. Today, we're talking about getting an appointment with the doctor. So let's dive in. So here are some very common and useful phrases because there are different medical centers and doctors. First of all, we say, I'm going to the doctors or GP, which means general practitioner or your family doctor. The doctor who first sees you when it's not urgent and you don't need to see a specialist. If you need an appointment with your GP, you most probably book it online, over the phone, or you can do it straight at the outpatient clinic or walk-in clinic. Some examples of some useful phrases are, I'm going to make an appointment with the paediatrician. Can you give me an appointment for Thursday from three to six? Oh, I don't remember my appointment date. Can you look it up using my ID or medical card number? If the case is urgent, you might have to rush off to hospital, in which case it would be useful to know phrases like, oh, we have to go to casualty, or I'm going to call emergencies to get a doctor to come round. More than likely, on more than one occasion, you'll need to say, well, I'm going to see a specialist like a paediatrician, a gynecologist, a dermatologist, a traumatologist, an ophthalmologist, or even a dentist. Here are examples of sentences you can use in these situations. I have an appointment on the 15th for a scan. The doctor needs to do a smear test. X-rays are done on the ground floor. Results are sent to your home address. Blood tests are taken in room 10 from eight to nine in the morning. Are you a private patient or a member of a mutual insurance company? Oh, I went to the dentist surgery the other day. It's new and sparkling clean. There's a long waiting list for this dermatologist. So that's all for now. If you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with English for everyday situations. It's really handy. Bye.